international system of transport is a vital element of today's society that enables the mobility of people, goods, and services. Maritime transport and the transport capacity provided by it is the key component of this system and is estimated to account for up to 95% of the volume of world trade. At any given moment, there are two to 4,000 ships in the Baltic Sea alone. In addition to general cost effectiveness requirements, in the future, maritime transport will be required to be more efficiently connected to the overall logistics chain and provide services with a considerably lower environmental burden. Historically, surveillance of the Baltic Sea has been rigidly compartmentalized, where tasks and duties have often been divided between three main sectors, the security sector, the defense sector, and the safety sector. It has not always been the case that these three sectors were willing or able to share valuable intelligence information with one another, but that has gradually begun to change. However, as individual nations began to get a clearer picture of their own Baltic Sea maritime situation through the sharing of information, it became evident that without international cooperation amongst all the Baltic Sea states, they would never be able to see the entire picture. The Baltic Sea Maritime Functionalities Project is a cross-sectoral cooperation that began between Sweden and Finland and is now spreading to all the other nations across the region. Since the implementation of this project, the countries of the Baltic Sea are now able to monitor the traffic in the region like never before. Uh, the organization of the cooperation is uh, organized in the way that uh, one country, one service, one agency is holding the presidency in this particular year. Uh, it develops the so-called International Coordination Center. All the other agencies, they have uh, responsibility for national coordination centers, which are managing the practical cooperation on a daily basis. The idea is to show that we managed to create this kind of national entity, and we find out that we are missing some, some kind of common language when we are approaching this, this kind of cooperation. The whole project, the uh, Baltic Sea Maritime Functionalities, it is about bringing together information from the defense sector, from the safety sector, and from the security sector. One of the biggest challenges for creating an international information sharing environment is the difference between national arrangements. What this means is that different authorities are doing the same job in different countries. The Baltic Sea Maritime Functionalities Project aims to eliminate the complications of sharing delicate information amongst the various national entities. It means that no one owns the information. Some of the old systems are gathering information from there, from there, puts it in, in one box, and then hands information out. This information must be accessible as simply as possible. The current economy is dependent on the support and development of a fully functioning maritime transport system that is not only operational and cost efficient, but also environmentally friendly. But for society's sake, this system must also protect the individuals and the environment from the threats and risks inherent to maritime transport. We are addressing a number of threats. Cross-border criminality in terms of illegal migration, violation of, of uh, uh, navigation safety and security regulations. Trafficking, smuggling, and of course it's also uh, uh, defense threats. Search and rescue, fisheries protection, as well as environmental protection, marine uh, environment protection in the Baltic Sea region. Quality maritime situational awareness is the key output of the maritime information sharing environment. Information management must enable the linkage of individual actors to both the national entity and the international entity of the reference group. Only by the means of well-organized national cooperation between the services agencies responsible, you are able to support an international, regional process. So the idea is to, to find the, the way to interlink the already existing national systems, to get an effective, efficient, internationally based uh, common information sharing environment. But after reviewing all the facts and figures, we wanted to see if we could find an example of a real case that could reflect the benefits of the Baltic Sea Maritime Functionalities Project. We happened to find such an example while attending a meeting of naval officers and border guard representatives from all around the Baltic Sea states. I was duty officer in Tallinn, uh, JRCC, and in the night about half past four, 
we got a rescue boy distress alert and it uh, showed that uh, this um, uh, identification number MMSI was uh, Finnish. So I called to rescue center Turku in Finland. And the rescue center in Finland had seen the same distress signal. Both the Finnish and Estonian rescue centers attempted to contact the boat, but they both came up empty. They were able to contact the owner of the boat, who was on another fishing ship in the vicinity at the time. He too was unable to contact his crew. Since the boat had disappeared literally on the line between Finnish and Estonian waters, a rescue mission began from both sides. Then, the Estonian border guard saw something on his radar screen that led him to believe that yet another nation might be able to lend a hand. Uh, I saw from the um, uh, radar screen that the closest object to this area is a uh, Lithuanian uh, uh, cargo ship, Kaunas, and I asked this boat to uh, go to this area and start the uh, search. There was a dense fog covering the night and visibility was only 10 to 20 meters but the Lithuanian cargo ship managed to find the radar distress buoy, as well as an oil slick nearby, indicating that a ship had sunk there. Suddenly, the Lithuanian crew began to hear a whistle. As they shone their light into the night fog, they saw the entire crew of the sunken ship huddled together in a life raft, ecstatic to know that they had now been rescued. The crew was fortunately in good health, having been found within hours of their threatening disaster. Thanks to the sharing of information and the fluid response of the Finnish Rescue Center, the Estonian border guards, and the Lithuanian cargo ship. As the crew was transported back to their homes in Estonia, the Finnish Rescue Center was rewinding their surveillance picture to find out what had happened. They discovered that the small fishing vessel had collided with a large cargo ship. After identifying the specific vessel, they were able to track down the boat and conduct a full investigation. But not all the cross-sectoral collaborations within the Baltic Sea Maritime Functionalities Project are so dramatic. Some are quite practical, but certainly no less significant. Our airplane is making patrol flights in our area, Finnish in their area. Then we started to do like this way that we started to change information about the patrol flights. Now, both the Estonian Coast Guard and, uh, and Finnish Coast Guard has decided that why we have a uh, two flights in the same day. Let one day fly is Estonian airplane and the second day Finnish. And we change information that both countries save money and both countries get the same information. All days the, the maritime surveillance ma uh, business is more like a one nation's business, but today it's, it's, it's common business for all, all the areas. In conclusion, the creation of a common information sharing environment through the Baltic Sea Maritime Functionalities Project is as smart as it is simple. As a flagship project of the European Union strategy for the Baltic Sea region, the BSMF project is setting the global standard for maritime safety and security. By interlinking pre-existing national systems, the nations of the region are now able to monitor the Baltic Sea in ways previously not possible. The basic idea behind it is not to invent the wheel, but to use in practice what we already have at the disposal uh, the good experience, not to lose it, but to push it forward in practical terms.